Hi, good evening, Micah and Ray. Last month, the Savage family took a cruise to celebrate Becky Savage's 40th birthday. Tonight, the family is more than grateful to be home and alive after an excursion off the cruise ship left them floating in the ocean. Among them were a number of elderly men and women and babies too small for life vests. We were heading to Blue Lagoon Island for a beach day. Oh, we were so excited. That excitement quickly turned into fear. <laughs> On November 14th, Becky Savage, her husband Matt, and their two boys, Reeve and Ace, feared for their lives as the two deck Blue Lagoon Island tour boat headed for Blue Lagoon Island in the Bahamas slowly sank into the Atlantic Ocean. We went up, we went down, and we must have hit a big wave or something and we got soaked. The family says the boat with more than 100 people on board started to sink around 10.30 in the morning. They say the crew didn't communicate what was going on other than to get life jackets on. In the midst of the uncertainty, Matt and Becky's youngest son got their attention. He was like, you know, we're all gonna die. Like we're all gonna die. And there was a moment when Matt and I like looked at each other, we didn't even, say anything, but we knew like we have to stay calm. The savages took the boat ride as an excursion on their last full day on a Royal Caribbean cruise that took them to Jamaica and the Bahamas. They say as the tour boat was sinking, they tried to stay dry as long as possible before having to jump in. Eventually, they were rescued by a small inflatable boat. While the savages are grateful they survived, they grieved the loss of a 75-year-old grandmother named Gail from Colorado who didn't make it. It was a four-generation family. Uh, she had brought the whole family. It was, it was her gift to, to her family. Once back on the ship, the savages say the crew staff were kind, but they needed more. What we needed, they, we needed them to bring us into a room together Debrief, debrief us or something. In spite of the tragedy, the savages say they are more thankful than ever to be alive and together. You got your boys, they're still super healthy and strong. We got through it, you know, the four of us, thank, thank goodness. A statement was issued by Blue Lagoon Island saying the Royal Bahamas Defense Force, Blue Lagoon and other vessels all assisted in getting people to shore and we are grateful for their help. Since the ordeal, the Savage family says they've heard very little from Royal Caribbean and nothing from the excursion company. Reporting in Mokina, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.